Hello and welcome to the episode 7 pre-show. I am El Gran Queso and tonight we have three great matches for you ahead of the big event next week. But before we get into any of that, if you are new here, then please could you consider going down and hitting that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of the action here at NFHW. With episode 7, the Tournament of Trios, just seven days away, we are going to head down to ringside as Guacamole from the Cheesy Nachos takes on the Magic Circle's Big Mike Wild. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the opening contest of the evening. Introducing first. And accompanied by his manager, Magic Mark Adams, this is Big Mike Wild. Big Mike Wild debuting here on NFHW. He is part of the Magic Circle and he is looking to get some revenge on Guacamole here tonight after Guacamole picked up the victory over Som Lazar last week. Remember the Magic Circle and the Cheesy Nachos will be facing each other in the opening round of the Tournament of Trios Episode 7 next week. And you've got to think the Magic Circle want to pick up this win. They don't want to go into that match having lost two in a row. Introducing his opponent. But here he comes. The this crazy Nacho. Guacamole. Guacamole is here. Don't let his demeanor fool you. He is a competent wrestler in that ring. Proving it last week. Picking up the win over Son Lazar. But to this week, his opponent is totally different. Son Lazar, much more adept at those high flying moves. This time, Guacamole is giving up a lot of size, a lot of strength, a lot of weight. Facing Big Mike Wild. But don't count, don't count Guacamole out. There he is, our man Guacamole, looking ready for this match. Okay, we are about ready to kick off. Big Mike Wild, Guacamole in the ring. Our referee for this opening contest is Larry. Oh, Big Mike Wild just comes in but misses, misses that final, final punch. Guacamole capitalizing, hitting that Russian leg sweep, but Big Mike Wild just running through Guacamole, dropping him on the floor, coming crashing down onto his back now with all of his weight, going to work on the arm of Guacamole. There you can see Magic Mark Adams looking on, looking happy with what Mike Wilde is doing here. But Guacamole, oh, he catches Big Mike Wilde in the head with that knee. But Wilde fighting up, sends Guacamole over that top rope and out to the eight, out to the floor, sorry. Big Mike Wilde just stepping over that top rope, following Guacamole out. Stamping on the arm. Referee's got that count going. Let's go. Oh, nice uppercut by Guacamole. I think that caught Mike Wilde bit by surprise. Another uppercut. Oh, but a headbutt. That just drops Guacamole. Referee's up to a five count. Imploring with the wrestlers to get back in the ring. Mike Wilde throws Guacamole back in. Just steps over the top rope. You just can't appreciate how big this guy is unless you are looking, looking at him in, like not eye to eye because you will not be that tall. But he is a mountain of a man. But Guacamole catches Dragon Screw, takes him off his feet. Once he's down on the canvas, he's not that tall after all. 
Guacamole back up. Oh, going to the going for that Judy Katami. Can he get the submission? Doesn't matter how big you are, <laughs> your arm will still break. Big Mike Wilde desperately trying to escape from this. He turns through. Oh, big pounding blows on Guacamole, but I think the damage might be done. Big overhead shot. What catches? Sends a shot to the stomach. Takes him down. What's he looking for? Stepping through. He's going for that curb stomp. Drives the face of Big Mike Wild into the canvas. That's going to make Big Mike Wild a little less pretty than he was. But Guacamole getting distracted by Mark Adams. You need to make sure you don't take your focus off of your opponent. It is so hard. Referee's there. Just a two count. As I was saying, it is so hard when you have a man like Mark Adams on the outside of the ring. But Guacamole slowly getting back to his feet. Oh, what's Big Mike Wild looking for? Setting up for a power bomb. Right, just plants Guacamole. Lamy is there. Guacamole somehow manages to get his shoulder off of the mat. Big Mike Wild looks shocked. Just launches Guacamole into that corner. But Guacamole fighting up, but just runs into Mike Wild. That slows him down. Slips behind the back. Drives that shoulder into the back of the knee. But Mark Adams up on the apron, distracting Guacamole. Guacamole again gets caught by Big Mike Wild. Goes for that cover. cover. Guacamole getting the shoulder up. Oh, Guacamole fighting back. Uppercut. What's he going to do? Oh, he drives into that arm breaker. Keeps hold. He's wrenching Mike Mike Wild's shoulder. He relinquishes the hold, though. I don't know why he didn't keep that on. He's going round to those legs. He's stepping through. He's got a sharpshooter on Big Mike Wild. He's wrenching it in. That is it! Here is your winner, Guacamole! Guacamole making Big Mike Ma Big Mike Wild submit. I am in shock there. How did Guacamole manage to pull that victory off? And Guacamole also defeated Son Nazar last week. But the question is, how will both teams fare in the opening round of the Tournament of Trios? But now we have a number one contenders match to see who will face the newly crowned NFHW Women's Champion, Kayla Hatton, at episode eight. Let me hand you over to our ring announcer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Way to the ring, this is Ashwan. So here we are about to find out who the first title defense for Kayla Hatton will be. Both of these two ladies are looking in, have, a, have their win records here. Of course, Ashwan just missed out on capturing that title. She lost to Kayla Hatton in the final, which was what, one of the reasons why she is here tonight. With only one obstacle in her way, standing between her and a shot at that gold. Ashwan looking confident. Slowly making her way to the ring. Here's the 
title shot that they will win tonight will happen at episode 8 which will be on December 24 we have got two episodes this month episode 7 next week and her opponent this is Jenna so Jenna with an impressive debut a couple of weeks back where she picked up that win over Pollyanna which was very impressive Pollyanna is a very competent wrestler that is why Jenna is here tonight looking for that opportunity to go on for a chance to become the NFHW Women's Champion. Okay, so both ladies are ready. We have Gary in charge of this match. Jenna comes out the block strong. Ashwang ducks under that kick. But Jenna catches, drives the knee into the face of Ashwang and takes her to the floor. Jenna just looking for that bow and arrow. Gary's bid in the way. When will our refs learn not to stand that side? As Jenna gets back to her feet. Oh, nice, nice dodge there by Jenna. But lovely hip toss. Aswan catching Jenna with a lovely little throw. Now just wrenching the back of Jenna, wrenching her head. But Jenna manages to escape pretty quick. Oh, driving those knees into the ribs of Aswan. Now just unceremoniously just booting her in the chest and back. Jumping down up all the way, just driving, the, driving Ashwang's head into the canvas. Goes to that cover. Gary is there. Just a two count. Ashwang manages to kick out. Jenna looking, looking impressive here. Lovely arm drag. Catches Ashwang as she was running in. Ashwang having a lot of trouble, trouble getting any momentum going in this match. Northern Lights. Doesn't stay for that pin. Going back to work on the arm. And again, just driving the head of Ashwang into the mat. Oh, Ashwang manages to get that boot in. Buys himself a little bit of time. Picks up Jenna. Side suplex. That's going to knock some of the wind out of Jenna's sails. Ashwang needs to build some momentum here. But Jenna already firing back up. Oh, a gut wrench suplex takes Ashwang over. Impressive strength display by Jenna and an eat defeat. Jenna just pulling Ashwang away from the ropes, going for that cover. Just a two count. Ashwang gets the shoulder up, but Jenna is looking impressive in this match. Jenna just waiting now for Ashwang to get back to her feet. What is she going to do? She's stepping over into that stunner. Could that be enough? She's pulling Ashwang away from the ropes. Ring awareness into the cover. One, two, three. That is it. Here is your winner, Jenna. Jenna making that look easy. And she will be going on to episode 8 for a shot at Kayla Hatton and the belt. So Jenna picking up the win there. And she will be going on to face Kayla Hatton at episode 8 on December 24th. But we still have to get past episode 7 before then. And not only... At episode 7, do we have the Tournament of Trios? But Voodoo will also be defending that NFHW Championship against Robert Sharp. 
As you might remember, at episode 5, Robert Sharp defeated Styx despite the interference of Apollo Crews to earn the right to be the number one contender. Well, tonight, Robert Sharp gets a chance for retribution as he will be facing both Styx and Apollo Crews and Robert Sharp will be teaming up with anyone of his choice. So just who did Robert Sharp choose? Let's head down to ringside and find out. It is now time for your main event. Introducing first, the team of Apollo Crews and the heavyweight House of Pain, Styx. So here they are. We are still unsure just how this alliance came up between Styx and Crews. <laughs> But Apollo Crews interfering in that match, which Styx had with Robert Sharp. So tonight, Robert Sharp has been granted the opportunity to face these two in tag team action. And he is allowed to choose anyone their opponents. on the NFHW roster to be his partner. So let's see who he has chosen. This is Robert Sharp. Robert Sharp making the way to a ring on his own. Just who could his partner be? Robert Sharp. Next week, he will be at episode seven with an opportunity against Voodoo for the title. And introducing his tag team partner. Let's find out who it is. Oh, rip. That's, you, you're joking. Yeah. Robert Sharp teaming up here tonight with Voodoo. The man he will be facing in just seven days' time. He is the NFHW Heavyweight Champion, Voodoo. How did this come about? Robert Sharp and Voodoo about to team up to take on Cruz and Styx. But in just seven days time, tag team partners are going to meet in the ring for the gold. And you got to believe that Styx and Cruz were not expecting to be in the ring here tonight with the NFHW champion. But one of the big questions will be how well will Voodoo and Sharp gel tonight? Also, how well will Styx and Apollo Cruz gel? I don't think any of these people have ever teamed up before. But we won't have long to wait to find out. All four men are ready for this match. This voodoo just sits himself down in the corner. But here we go, referee in charge of this match is Barry. Hey, there we are, bell stuck goes. We've got Styx and Robert Sharp starting off. Big, big forearm. And another one to the face of Styx. Oh, Robert Sharp dropping the heavyweight house of pain. But Styx just drives the face of Sharp into that mat, goes over, makes the tag to Cruz. You've got to think Robert Sharp wants to get his hands on Cruz. But Cruz gets him up onto his shoulder. Power slam. Tag back into Styx. Nice quick tags here by Styx and Cruz. Oh, big kick into the chest of Sharp. And a big clothesline takes Sharp off his feet into the cover. Just a one count. I don't think Styx really thought he was going to get the win. 
but more try to put that psychological edge onto Sharp by going for the cover in the opening moments of the match. Now Cruz working on the back of Sharp. Drives his head into the turnbuckle. And now just, oh, Sharp fighting out of the corner. Sharp needs to make a tag into Voodoo. But Cruz up on the shoulders, but fighting out. Slips down behind. Gets Sharp, presses Robert Sharp over his head. That is an impressive display of strength by Apollo Cruz. Robert Sharp is not a small man. Heavyweight hat sticks is in. Robert Sharp makes the tag to Voodoo. Voodoo comes in. Big clubbing blow to Sticks. Oh, a lovely maneuver. Backbreaker onto Sticks. Where is Voodoo going? Sticks is already there though. But Voodoo blocks it. Look at that blockbuster. No, big clothesline from the top rope. Takes Sticks down. But Sticks takes, takes Voodoo over. Making that tag to Cruz. Robert Sharp only just getting back to his feet. Cruz sends that knee into the into the midsection of Voodoo. Cruz, it's now Cruz's turn to go up to that top rope. Oh, headbutt from the top connects to those ribs of Voodoo into the cover. Just a two count. You need to do more than that to put away the champion. Cruz going up again. Robert Sharp misses. Oh, Cruz misses that elbow. Big clubbing blow there by Voodoo. Going up to the top rope himself. Cruz back to his feet. Catches Voodoo, but Voodoo fights out. There's that blockbuster. Cover. Could this be it? Just a two count. Apollo Cruz getting his shoulders up. Tag in to, to Robert Sharp. And there was a look. There was a look there from Voodoo into the eyes of Sharp. But Apollo Cruz rolls through. Couple of big blows. Makes that tag to Sticks. But Sharp back to his feet. Sticks unloading on Sharp. Big release German. Launches Robert Sharp halfway across the ring. Sticks now just pounding away onto the back of the head of Sharp. Steps over, drops his weight onto that arm. Tag back into Apollo Crews. Robert Sharp still down. Apollo Crews going to that top rope. Voodoo is there. Oh, Voodoo just pushes Apollo Crews off of that top rope. I think Crews landed on the face of Robert Sharp, though. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not by Voodoo. But it wouldn't surprise me if it was. Cruz up to that top rope. Oh, Robert Sharp catches him. Turns it into a slam, into the cover. Two count. Cruz gets the shoulder up. Sticks came in to make the save. Sharp gets him up. Oh, a lovely move. Sticks slowly rolling out the ring, but Apollo Cruz catches Robert Sharp. Driving his arm into the canvas and just pounding away into the face of Robert Sharp. Where's Cruz going? Back to that top row. Sharp. Oh, Cruz avoids. Headbutt. Cruz gets back in the ring. Or is he going back up again? He's... Oh, a lovely little flip over that top rope into the senton. But Sharp catches. Oh, small package. Barry is there. Voodoo. Voodoo making the save. Apollo Cruz just gets Voodoo out of the ring. Robert Sharp is in trouble in this match. Apollo Cruz picks him up onto his shoulder, drops him over that top rope. Stamping into the midsection. 
Robert Sharp fighting back. Setting him up. Gets him up. Suplex. Nits Robert Sharp needs to make the tag. Doesn't. Enziguri. There's a tag. And a look from Robert Sharp this time. Oh, a big punch. A big punch into the side of the head of Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews just choking the life. Sorry, Voodoo just choking the life out of Apollo Crews. Voodoo hooking him up for a suplex. Gets him up. Oh, but Apollo brings that knee into the head. Big forearm drops our champion. Tag into Sticks. Sticks comes in, pings up the champ. Brings him through wrist lock, but a big clubbing blow breaks that wrist lock. Sticks. Suplex. Takes Voodoo off of his feet. Working on the big guy's legs now. So he goes over and makes the tag to Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz going for that cover. Barry is there. Just a one count. Voodoo kicks out with authority. Oh, a lovely angle slam by Apollo Cruz. Robert Sharp makes the makes the save, takes a drop kick for his trouble. Cruz back to that top rope. Frog splash into the cover. Just a two count. Tag into sticks. Voodoo in a trouble here. Just stamping away into the face of our champion. Now just wrenching his neck. Barry in the way of hard cam again. Barry, could you please move? Thank you. But Voodoo fighting back oh but stick sends that knee into the ribs and a big blow takes voodoo down robert sharp still on his knees on the outside Polo cruz now waiting for voodoo to get back up what's he looking for voodoo oh voodoo went for that choke slam but i think he missed hooks it in this time can he get cruz up cruz fights out Manages to save his life. Headbutt drops the champion into the cover. Two count, nearly a three. Cruz makes a tag into Sticks. Sticks comes in. Voodoo getting back to his feet. What is Sticks looking for? Sticks gets him up. Oh, a lovely power slam into the cover. Robert Sharp makes the save. Sticks gets Robert Sharp up. Oh, rib breaker and another one. Just throws Sharp across the ring. Sharp rolls himself to the floor. Voodoo gets back to his feet. DDT on Sticks. DDT. And hits that neck breaker. Voodoo. Building some momentum, but Styx breaks it down. Takes Voodoo off his feet. Tag into Apollo Cruz. As Cruz bringing Voodoo away from those ropes. Into that cover. Barry goes there. That is it. A three count. Of Apollo Cruz Apollo hitting our Cruz. champion. What ramifications will that have here at NFHW? Voodoo teaming up with the man he will be facing in just seven days' time. But Apollo Crews and Styx were victorious here tonight. And we have just been informed that because Apollo Crews pinned the NFHW champion, he will be added into the match next week at Episode 7. 
So now it'll be a triple threat match and Voodoo will be defending his title against both Robert Sharp and Apollo Crews. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for being here. And if you did enjoy yourself, then please could you go down and hit that like button. And while you are there, if you could leave a comment too, that really does help the channel out. And if you don't know what to put, just put NFHW Rules. And if you do want to help the channel out more, we now have a Patreon page that you can join from as little as £5 a month. You'll get access to the Wednesday Night Wars a whole 24 hours earlier. Plus, you will have the chance to vote on upcoming matches, match stipulations, number one contenders, and more. And at some of the higher tiers, you can also get your name on the ring. If you would like to help us out financially, the link to our Patreon page is in the description. But more importantly, if you do want to help the channel grow, then please could you go down and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anyone else that you think might like our content, then please share it with them. But until next time, I have been El Gran Queso, and remember, be nice to people. Bye!